So today we're going to be making homemade peanut butter cups. I got the recipe from a magazine of the 100 best cookies, um, which is something that looks really simple. That's the uh, picture of what they're going to look like towards the end. Um, I'm choosing to use mini muffin cups instead of the big regular cups. Um, this says you can use chunky or creamy peanut butter and you can choose the type of chocolate that you like. If you're a dark chocolate fan, make it dark chocolate. If you're milk chocolate, make it milk chocolate. Whatever chocolate floats your boat. So over here we have chocolate chips that will melt down to make the chocolate base and the coating. We're going to use creamy peanut butter because I'm a creamy peanut butter fan. And we're going to use mini muffin cups, which I have already lined out to be filled. So basically, you have to have a cup and a half of chocolate chips. And you're going to put these over simmering water. That's almost what they call a double boiler method, um, which is where the water is simmering and you have a bowl over top of it to just slowly melt it all. Um, to the point where it's not, um, it's just the way that they say it's the easiest way to do it. Um, so we're going to measure a cup and a half of chocolate chips. And then here we have two thirds of a cup of peanut butter. It may be a little less, a little more give or take because of the air that's inside, but it's pretty close to the exact measurement. And again, it's over a double boiler because you want it to melt slowly. Um, you don't want it to melt too quickly or the whole process won't work. Okay, so that's really all there is to this recipe. You have to have a spatula to stir each one as it melts to ensure that it's melting to the consistency it needs to be. Um, this will take a, a few minutes based on the heat and things like that. So we're going to give these a few minutes to get to the consistency that they need to be to. And then I'll show you guys how to put them in the muffin tins and let them sit. So the chocolate is melted. You have a consistency that's really good that you want to pour into the each one of the um, cups that you're going to use. The peanut butter is also melted, which is what you want. So you're going to need two spoons, one for the chocolate and one for the peanut butter. Now you're going to leave the heat on low while you're doing this for each layer because they have to set for five minutes between each layer. I'm actually going to see what happens if you put one on top of the other without it cooling. So I'm going to do the rest of them like you're supposed to be, but I'm going to give it a shot and see what happens. You're going to take a little bit of the chocolate, not too much as this is a smaller cup, and you'll just drop a little bit in the uh, bottom of this. Oh, come on. It just wants to drop the whole thing, so yeah, we'll just make that work, won't we? As it moves around. And set this there and then you'll get your peanut butter and I'm going to bring this around instead of trying to put the peanut butter over there. And you'll, you'll do your little peanut butter on top of the chocolate like so. Now remember, this is customizable. You can do it as much peanut butter, as much chocolate, whatever tickles your fancy. Okay. And then we'll come back over here. And you'll add a little more chocolate to the top. Now 
Now I know it says you're supposed to wait five minutes between each layer, but I'm trying one just to see what happens when you don't. Just so you can say, oh, that's why you have to wait between each layer. Um, as you can see, the peanut butter is going to overcome the chocolate there. So we'll let that one kind of cool as it should. And I'll put the bottom layers on for the rest of the chocolate. And then we'll come back and I'll show you guys how it turns out. I'm going to pull them out now and show you guys what they look like. I didn't put chocolate on the very top. Because I actually kind of like mine without that chocolate layer on the top. It's just good to me that way. But again, this is customizable. This is one that you can do any way that you want. Um, so this is what they look like. So essentially, you're gonna to test them. You're gonna squeeze. You kind of have to do a little squeeze, and if it still kind of moves around too much, then they're not done. Um, this one's pretty close, but I'm not gonna chance it. Let's see if we can find one that will work. Show you guys what they look like. Let's see. This one might work. That one won't even work. See? Goodness. Alright, so again, I like a lot of peanut butter. Everybody has their preference. Yeah, it's a little gooey. But as you can see, when you pull it out, you're going to have that perfect mix. <laughs> These didn't set right, but you have your perfect mix of chocolate and peanut butter. And that's good. So, until next time. See you guys